Hello there, it is I, Ariman the Exile, and today I'm casting you another video with World Eaters against Elda. I didn't play World Eaters. Alright, we got World Eaters. Ariman the Exile playing as World Eaters. It is I, yes. Against the insane AI. Elder, Craft World, on the Blood River map. This is unification mode, guys. In case you guys are new to the channel, I have to say it. Alright. Now we can start up this mission. Now this beautiful map, Blood River map, is the most, like, uh, let's say it like this, it's the most played map. That, like, it's the Blood River. We follow there you. is nothing you can to know about this Shall map. Mightiest champions arise this day. Mightiest champions arise this day. Alright. World Eaters are kind of... Okay, as I said, this day. Great World Eaters are kind of loud. Let's switch them. And let's see what the elders are actually doing. We're going for the Bone Singers, free Bone Singers. Uh, capturing nearest and dearest points with Guardians. Uh, going for the Warlocks. <laughs> Look at these models. These models are from Down of War 2, actually. Blocking very nice. World Eaters uh, decided to go for two generators and capturing also near points. Now we have a Cold Command Squad here. Funny thing is uh, about this squad, on tier 3 you can literally go for Blood Cold Assassin and Bodyguard. Bodyguards are like the best thing you can have for this Command Cold Squad, I believe. But you can also research cultists in range and melee. First contact with world leaders and the elder. This warlock is casting the, his psychic abilities from the, his hands. You can see that that's completely new thing, right? Uh, all right. We can see some dead bodies over here. Another cultist is dead. Cultist does not stand the chance that much against the guardians. Plus they only had four or five cultists and the guardians have almost full squad. <laughs> Killing uh, some builders with the full command squad over here. They are in negative cover. I do not know if they gonna like uh, get some benefits from this melee attacks but usually world eaters get benefits when they every time they go in melee remember that 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 needs to be known all right i have picked the coordinate technomancers you can decide if you want to go for like demon hosts or coordinate technomancers it's up to you every time can be a different game Listening shrine is complete. Going for tier 2 now. Blood letters! Our favorite demons. Look at them. Pretty scary for the new players who don't know what they are. They are your worst nightmare right now in the game. Like they are really really strong. Like but that doesn't mean like in, they can like uh, they can like take the damage, you know. They they can be easily dead but the thing is they do a lot of damage a lot of damage and that is what scares uh, most of the players okay this listening shrine will be able to take down these blood letters as we can see like it is tanky blood letters are attacking it but not doing very well it seems Bone Singer is now repairing this structure. Smart solution. And the one squad of the blood letters is completely wiped out. <coughs> okay, what is going on here? They have took the relic from our side and they are building a tarantula to, to it on this side. 
Very smart, smart solution. No, my bad. Actually, <laughs> Chaos uh, have picked I two relics arrived. and building to it near the relic. Now they are going to build a second relic. What about the critical locations? The they are completely free and open. And but time. now this uh, critical location in the middle is being captured by the world eaters, cultists. There are more pressing matters. And another guardian squad using the case to get to the to get to the the second critical location. I walk in the witch path, and it leads to war. Now plasma generators has been complete by the bone singers and building a soul shrine that means they gonna be tier two. Alright how much four going for the four generators four generators are all already done and going for the fifth generator is by the coordinate marines and also going for the tier tier two it seems world eaters are doing a great job here now that's tier three actually Or tier 2, I'm not sure actually. I, I believe this this is a tier 2. Okay, Surgeon has spammed Corn Berserkers. Corn Berserkers looking, looking pretty angry, ready to crush some skulls. Pass here. Kairos is on the field. She is getting shot by the turret. Now using some of the He is enforcing his units. Farseer completely wasted on this. <laughs> this time, uh, now world eaters are going for that second uh, critical location. What is this? All right, Eldar got six generators and almost soul shrine is ready. They will be tier two now. World eaters are already tier two by finishing this blood upper carrion chaos armory surgeon with the blood letters and berserkers destroying and demolishing this building Whoa. they said fuck this this is our map this is our territory blood for the blood gods but how great are they actually against invisibility? Nobody knows. Fire dragons online. I believe I heard Harlequins. Yeah, there it is. The Harlequin. This Harlequin deals a lot of damage. She is the perfect thing when you have like big armies like this. Because she can jump like this. Yeah. Now she's using Harlequin Kiss. Very effective thing to have uh, is this Harlequin actually. People usually don't use this Harlequin. But when you play Eldari, I believe you want to go for Harlequins. They also got two Harlequins. You can go for two Harlequins. Maybe even three who knows. Guardian squad ready. Two fire dragon squads. And two squads of the blood letters now. With with everything. This is full army to army the battle. Is ready. The stage is set. And we can see blood cultists capturing critical again. And fate. They are chasing these fire dragons. Fire dragons has turned to have uh, the haste. War gate destroyed. Now they are dis destroying this shrine. Great floor. You can see support platform has been upgraded. Shooting at the cultists. When you upgrade it, it's very effective against vehicle, not against infantry, but 
it can still like do knockback damage and sometimes that that thing can annoy you Elda got 60 plus 60 on. The pain. Relish the agony. and the sixth generator going up for the blue distance in the shrine we can see a reinforced armor <coughs> now falcon gravity tank with star cannon upgrade going up form, form berserkers with icon barrier this squad is now with icon barrier asker in champion throwing some melted grenades at this listening shrine how well is this Falcon Guard thing going to do against this army of, cha of chaos? <coughs> Great Lord ready. Fire Dragon Squad is very effective against vehicle and buildings, but not against infantry, it seems. Yeah, I believe they are not actually not. I believe they are not that actually great against infantry, but it is what it is. Great Lord trying to pull some damage and to kill some heretics, but it seems the Great Lord is going to fail. All right, <coughs> Falcon Gravity Tank. Blood for the Blood God! Now they are screaming. Screaming in the clone's name. Harley Quinn. Doing a classic melee stuff. This bodyguard right here deals a lot of damage to the Harley Quinn. Tony Technomancer here to see what is going on. Elder insane AI trying to escape this madness. But will they gonna escape? Halo field research will receive uh, Halo on them. <coughs> That's the research for the Eldari. They got two soul shrines for some reason, unknown reason. Who knows why? But okay. Okay, world eaters are staying on the tier two. Losing Guardian Squad. It's a little bit too late for the Guardian Squad. Economy very low. We can see 50 going with requisition and 50 going for the power. But they lost uh, one generator. And I believe they will lose these five juicy generators when the time is right to strike. Another great lord. And another great lord. Are going to be produced by the Eldari. Blood Eaters are completely dominating this Blood River man. So, Blood Eaters has massacred this poor Great Lord. Producing a Guardian Squad. Love the pain. Economy, all the world leaders are going up yeah. every Earth time they are in melee. So like, it's not going to be uh, <laughs> that good and great for the Eldari. Guardians dying. Okay, they can figure it out. The webway assembly is right in front of them. There is one extra fire dragon. Who is like running away from the blood madness? But for how much long is he going to run? Avatar against Blood Blood Twister. That's a good match. <laughs> you love to see it. Now building a turret with the <laughs> Technomancer. And the Great Lord is going to absolutely destroy this turret. He doesn't like turrets in his base, it seems. <laughs> oh my god, some marks of the core now. What is going to be here? A coordinate Redman, Berserker, 
online now throwing a couple of frag grenades or melt grenades at this great lord poor great lord cannot stand against this might of the core capturing the third critical location it seems no the second our glory. one belongs to the world eaters the second one belongs to the elder Another great lord by the Eldari. That's the only thing they know to do right now is to build the uh, great lords. <laughs> X rush with uh, like very low HP, chased by the blood letters. Oh, that would be scary. But it's just a Warhammer universe. Rack grenades thrown. And the two squads, now we got the broken Berserker squad and the classic Berserker Tornet Berserker squad. <coughs> Falcon Gravity Tank, that's new, that is really new. <laughs> okay, two command squad are still alive. And the Chaos are tier, tier 3. With another building will be tier 4. I believe this is tier 4 for them. And tier 5 is in that building and they summon it. But that HQ like, uh, is at very low HP, it's at risk. We can see clearly that Eldari doesn't stand a chance against the world eaters on the Blood River map. No chance, no. These Guardians will die fast, probably. As fast as they can run, they will die right now. Webgate is no more, and that is how you finished the Eldari on this Blood River map. All right, we got 13. Yeah, 30, 13 uh, bro broken berserkers in this squad, and how much we got in the classic berserker squad? Eight. That's the difference, that's the difference. These fellas here are repaired and the other fellas are not repaired. Blood letters, I believe they have been upgraded to tier 2, that is why uh, we, we see them as strong as they are. I have completely dominated this blood river in the blood's god name, so... That's about it from this episode, I hope you liked it and stay tuned for the next to come.